All right, so this problem is um, a depreciation, straight, uh, straight depreciation example. So elevator system for 20 year old uh, cost $400,000. Uh, system was designed to last 30 years. Salad value, 10% of initial cost. Um, depreciation is straight line. Calculate the allowable depreciation charge per year. So first of all, we're gonna have to go through, go to look at the formula in order to find out what are the knowns and the unknowns. So DJ equals, uh, this is the formula that we, we're gonna be using here. Uh, DJ is equal C minus C, SN over N. C is your cost. SN is your salvage value and N is your number of years. And we can look at it from here as well. Um, C as your cost. SN as your expected salvage value per year. And DJ is depreciation in year. Year J. All right, so let's write down the formula in our blackboard. So DJ is equal to C minus S N over, and let's verify that that's the correct formula. That is correct. All right, so what do we know and what do we not know? So the cost is known as uh, $400,000. SN, that's your salvage value, expected salvage value per year. Uh, we're told that is 10% of initial cost, so that'll be $40,000. All right, so the number of years is going to be uh, 20 years. Uh, I'm sorry. Right, so this is going to be 30 years because we're told that it was designed to last 30 years. So N is 30. All right, so depreciation for the first question. This is a two-part question, by the way. It's going to be 400,000 minus 40,000 over 30. So 400,000 minus 40,000 divided by... 30, that's uh, 12,000. Now this, if you divide by 20 years instead of 30 years, the answer is going to be 18,000. So just verify and read the problem carefully. The system here is designed to last 30 years. And remember, N is your uh, number of, um, is the expected life of an asset expected life of an asset so just make sure you you get the correct um, correct value so if you divide by 20 here you're gonna get eighteen thousand eighteen thousand dollars and you're gonna scream oh I got it right no you didn't because you use the wrong value and and everybody knows the NCS is known notorious for actually doing things like that so they will throw a number that if you would have solved the problem wrong that number is gonna be as a multiple choice so just because you get the answer in there doesn't mean that you get it right. So you read the problem carefully. All right, so that's your answer A. Now, uh, second part of the question, um, current book value. Let's go back to our formula sheet and look at the formula for book value. So book value is given as initial cost minus the sum of your depreciation so let's put that over here. So book value is 
is your uh, cost minus right initial cost minus uh, some of your DJ some of your depreciation so here we have everything that we need cost is 400,000 initial cost minus the sum of your depreciation per year so we have 20 years times um, 12,000 right 20 years times 12,000 so that's to let me write it down so that's 20 years now you, you're not using your expected life you're using the actual um, you know how long how it's actually depreciated so far right so you're not using the expected depreciation this time around you're using the uh, whatever it is it is right now so 20 years times 12,000 right so every single year it depreciate 12,000 uh, you multiply that by 20 that's the number that's the total number you know that's the total depreciation I guess over the years so this is two hundred and forty thousand dollars minus four hundred thousand so this will give you let me calculate that that's a hundred and sixty thousand so your answer is B so you got to be careful here as well um, so this is how much it has depreciated so far so it hasn't lasted 30 years yet it's expected to last 30 years but it hasn't lasted 30 years so so far it's a 20 year old building so that's why we're using 20 here so this is 160k all right so that's uh that was another example of depreciation so you will see this in the exam or your classes or whatever but um so just apply the formula and be careful um, using the correct value when you plug in your into your formula